Good morning, everybody. Jennifer here. Welcome to So Do You Like Stuff and welcome to an adventure with Jennifer. Ooh. So I figure I document this last week. I can't see a thing. I just washed my face and brushed my teeth just in case in the future there's smell -o vision My breath is not stinky. So it's still morning. Wearing my workout clothes, my Can't Relate Jeffree Star shirt. Those are some fingers. Let me put some glasses on. Ugh so much water spots on there let's not anywho so this is my last week of severance from my previous job and I really don't want to mention any names I'll just sit, keep it simple and say I worked for a really large financial institutions call center for the previous 14 years and the center closed. It was the happiest day of my life because things were getting nasty there. And here we are today. Last week, a week from today, I work at a new job. It sounds very interesting, something completely different than what I did before, so I'm excited about that part. It's a six month contract, so we'll just see how that goes because it's six months, you can't go wrong with that. So in this last week of my severance, I figure I'll document it for the fun of it. This week is starting out pretty awesome because we, I live with, including my boyfriend, so there's five humans that live in this house. Of the five, two of them are on vacation, and they're the loudest ones in this house, oh my God. So they're gone. So I figure why not take advantage of this and document some stuff for this last week, have a little fun with it, and all the good stuff. I don't know if I had a cold last week or if my allergies are really bad, but I took a medication that said it was allergy relief. I think it's Zizol, the one with the owl. And it says, oh yeah, it may cause drowsiness. It causes drowsiness for close to 20 hours. It's ridiculous. So there were two days where I'm like, I think I'm gonna die. So I feel much better today. Just a little congested, no big deal. I'm gonna get dressed and then take the dog for a walk and see how the rest of this day goes. So come join the fun with that last week of severance, yay. I've been working on this project here and it's an old, old comic book project that turned into a little story, but just did a little bit of drawing, or not really drawing, but just coloring today of that character there. And then did some of these um, drawings, or not really drawings, but just coloring. These are some of the old ones that I've done in the past, so that character's gone, that character's gone. So yeah. I've been so bad, you guys. It's now Thursday, so just to kind of catch you up, nothing super duper eventful. For example, on Monday I did some drawings, which you see some of that footage. Then Tuesday was an errands day, so I went food shopping, and then I took my mom to the doctor. Everything's good with my mom, so far so good. And then yesterday was pretty much a cooking day. I made some beef stew in the slow cooker and then today I'm cooking again. I've made some sourdough bread which I'll show you guys in a minute and then I'm cooking a slow cooker chicken and rice chicken and rice soup. Can I think of the words? And I finally got an email from my new work. So I start Monday promptly at 8.15 and then we'll just take it from there. So my goal is to just have more footage and show you guys some fun, fun things for the rest of my last few days of being unemployed. It's awesome. Here we go. Welcome to the kitchen and here in the slow cooker I have the veggies and chicken cooking be ready in four hours. And here, ta da! We have your things. Sourdough bread, just mine. It's my marker collection. So these are from years ago. Some colors, designs I made. It was originally going to be a comic book, and it just turned into a little sketchbook thing. So there is a color guide of Professor P, color guide of Professor N, and I need to give him a color on his shoes. It's one of the test subjects, need to give a rattle. 
another test subject, another test subject, another test subject. So this is the cover. I still need to draw it out. And as you can see, I've colored more pages. My bad guys are colored. So making some progress there. Lots of progress. So pretty much the last few days have been pretty much a combination of cooking, chores, and then lots of drawing on that project. So I'm just trying to get as much stuff as I can done before I have to go back to the workforce. One interesting thing I want to mention is the events that took place on March 4th. That's when Luke Perry passed away, King Kong Bundy passed away, the lead singer for Prodigy passed away, a person that my boyfriend worked with ceramics wise passed away and one person I knew passed away. That person was part of a comic book group back in the day where there were chat rooms and it was called the old school comic book shop on Yahoo and interestingly enough before chat rooms were defunct they made a little gathering place on Facebook and it was stagnant, like some people will put things here and there and stuff like that, will comment and stuff like that. So when that individual passed away, it was sad. However, the interesting thing was it reconnected all of us together. So, which is really cool. One person that I'm friends with, that I kind of chit chat with a long time, he made a, he made a comment saying, you know, he talked to me, but we seldom talk anymore. So I decided, hey, let's start talking again. So I started chit chatting with him. He and she had a podcast so I listened to that today it's very interesting um, a lot of video game talk Japan culture but I think it's mostly like video games that kind of thing but if you're interested it's kind of racy so there's some cursing in there and some cultural stuff in there but if you're interested I'll put the information below I think it's called couple and I don't remember oh my god but I'll put it in there but it's really cool just to reconnect with old friends from back in the day and just kind of catching up and then just you know talking again I'm gonna finish cooking dinner because it's in the crock pot I'm doing like the part two I made my bread and I'm actually making another loaf of bread so I'm gonna have to knead that as well and then we'll take it from there so yay good morning everybody it's now saturday and honestly this week has been a combination of cooking and cleaning and lots of drawing i've been working on my sketchbook project just to get it done um, before i go to work so today is going to be a very eventful day because i'm going to finish that sketchbook project and it actually inspired me to do a few other sketchbook stuff i'm also going to go a race into race racing thingy with my boyfriend because his friend's turning the big four zero so we're gonna do that so come and check out what I have in store for you today yay <laughs> Sunday morning, my last day of freedom before I have to go back into the workforce. So if you're curious, yesterday we went to a place called Need for Speed. My boyfriend's friend just turned the big four zero. So we went there for celebration purposes. I didn't do the driving because it makes me nervous. So I just watched and it was interesting. Um, and then we went to dinner. And then I got to hear some scandalous stories about my boyfriend's past when he was in high school, him and his friends, hijinks. So for today, um, I'm actually going to meet up with Irene. We're going to go to Barnes & Noble because I just keep seeing all these ads for different manga and stuff and comics. So I'm like, I need a fix. So come with us and let's see how the rest of this last day right, goes. So I'm in the car with Irene and she is going to educate me as much as she can about BTS. So here we go.
So I'm just chilling now, cook some dinner, and it was snowing a bit. Yeah, that's how I spent this last week of freedom. And before I go, I just want to show you one thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little adventure. Make sure you subscribe to So Do You Like Stuff. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our other channel, So Do You Like Beauty. And you guys are the best. Love you all. Until next time. Goodbye. Okay,